Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, in the world of great cars, right here, done deal. The 911, I don't care what iteration you're into, whether you're like air-cooled only or whether you like uh, water-cooled, all-wheel drive, one-wheel drive, 10-wheel drive, it doesn't matter. These cars are daily driver exotics. They're my favorite sports car on the planet because you know what? You can get in this car, drive to the track, race it around the track, and drive on home in the air conditioning on the cell phone. That's what kind of great car this is. So anyway, let's take a minute. We'll walk around this car here. It has some nice options, some nice features on it. It's low mileage and the price is fabulous on it to get into the world of uh, cool and exotic cars, all right? So some of the extra cost items on the car, this is brilliant silver metallic, all right? This is an extra cost item on these cars. Keep in mind, Porsches come, believe it or not, as very basic cars for as expensive as they are. The back seat's even vinyl as a base car. You have to order a back seat in leather. They come with 17-inch wheels, the same size that are on a Boxster. A Boxster and a 911 are nowhere near the same car. So don't be confused when you're looking at the Boxster and going, well, I can just about get the same thing as a 911. They're not even remotely close, all right? In case here, these right here has the upgraded turbo twist wheels. They're 18s, cross-drilled and slotted rotors, big giant calipers, four-wheel disc brakes, all right? This one here, of course, we're looking at the Cabriolet. And the Cabriolet has some really nice features built in too, and I want to show you what those are. So come on this way. So right here, this has rollover protection built in. So in the case that the car would start to tip or anything like that, this roll bar would shoot up. This way it's nice and level with the windshield and it can protect the occupants inside the car. Nice feature, bet you didn't think about that. Other thing too, is because these are such high speed cars, all right, they could get some buffeting in the convertible top, meaning flapping and things like that. Not every car in the world goes 160, 170, 180, depending on the 911 that you buy. So you probably want to make sure that it doesn't make a lot of racket at those speeds. But having said that, check this out. This is the front of the convertible top that would sit right here, right? And it sits back here and it keeps it nice and solid and it does a nice job fitting it in here. So this is a hard part of the convertible top um, and uh, that all protects the rest of the convertible top as well. This rear spoiler is speed activated depending on the year of the car that you buy. Some uh, activate in the 30 mile an hour range, some activate in the 70 mile an hour range, okay? The other thing too is what makes a sports car handle and perform well is how well it sticks to the ground. And how well it sticks to the ground actually happens as much underneath the car as it does on top of the car. For instance, a car is underneath with uh, control arms hanging down, rear differentials and things like that. That's why I'm trying to get uh, American cars with, a, with an open live differential to be 170, 180 mile an hour track cars can be very, very difficult, all right? In the case of this, this is, in the case of this car here, it's purpose built for that. So take a peek underneath and look how you can see all the way through, okay? And it's completely flat, look at that. You can't see a single thing hanging down there. And that's what keeps the disturbance and the turbulence uh, to a minimum. So this pops up, this keeps the, the back end of the car planted down. There's not a lot going on underneath there, so there's not enough to lift it up off the ground. And that's why you see maybe in a NASCAR race as the cars are wiggling around like this, they're wiggling around for one reason only, because that's the air underneath the car trying to lift the car off the ground, okay? All right, so uh, one of the things too that I love is the fact that you can get some storage in these cars and you can go away for the weekend and you can drive, you can take the kids to soccer. They're just so multi-purpose, all right? So check this out here. I don't know why we had an extra, but we had an extra floor mat because we put new floor mats in the car. And this was the extra passenger mat. Only the driver's mat ever wears out because the driver's in it all the time. This right here uh, could clip into the rear and this is the uh, wind deflector and we normally leave them in the car, so I can put that back in if you like. But what I wanted to show you was, you can throw two or three soft pieces of luggage right here. Spare tire comes with the car, which is nice. It doesn't require just an inflator bottle. Battery is right there. Here's a nice feature too. Come check this out. You see this decal right here? This decal right here is a factory decal. You can't purchase this decal ever again. It's a one-time thing. It shows how the car is built. If this car was in an accident and the hood was replaced, they would not have these original stickers around here, including these stickers here that have the VIN number underneath of them. That's a good indication that the car still has the original body panels on it. Those are some things that you should be looking for, okay? And this is the way you close it. Just put your hand right there on the emblem, that way you don't get a big handprint on the hood. Because the hood is really light, it won't close all the way if you try to slam it. 
All right, so let's come check out this here. All right, so this is actually a little bit uh, strange. I just washed the car, so I apologize for the uh, water drippage, okay? But it's a little weird for most people who have never had a Porsche before. Everything on the car is serviced from underneath, all right? So when a mechanic is underneath of it, or if you had a lift at home, you can see everything. Spark plugs, wires, cams, everything is wide open, exposed, exposed because it's a flat six, all right? So up top here, there's not a whole lot to see. You got your fresh air intake, but you got your Oil fill here, dipstick here, uh, hydraulic or clutch fluid right there, and then coolant right here, all right? A lot of people give these cars a tough time because they became water-cooled cars, uh, and everybody who's a Porsche person feels like to be pure Porsche, uh, that you have to have air-cooled. And the truth of the matter is, today's Porsche is significantly faster, significantly better driving, and significantly more comfortable than the old-school cars. The old-school cars are great cars. They're like classic cars. You love to look at them, you love to drive them once in a while, but today's modern car is, uh, is the best car ever built, okay? This is a nice little Carrera call out there. All right, let's check out the inside for a second. This is what I like to do. When I don't have people in the back, I like to put these down, okay? And look at that, that's a really cool look kind of a, a sports car. Plus it's a nice shelf if you want to for throwing some more stuff in the car. Um, and also too, this is what we call our big man's car. I know it sounds crazy that this is a small sports car, but because the engine and transmission is in the back, the floor is really low on this car. It doesn't need a drivetrain and all that stuff and the big humps and, and thick floors uh, to hide the exhaust and what have you, because everything is from here back. So well, here's what happens. I'm 6'1", and like I can't even reach, uh, I barely can reach the pedals uh, through here. Look at this. But just to give you an idea of how much room there is in the cars, okay? Also has uh, reclining and it, the seat comes up as well, as well as it has a power recliner, okay? All right, so in here, CD holder right here, digital sound system, first year for the cup holders, power top. This has PSM. Don't discount that. That was a very expensive item in 2001. It's probably, it's in between, I can't remember, $1,200 to $1,800 called Porsche Stability Management. And what it does is, let's say the car starts uh, to slide. What this can do is actually break individual wheels, throttle back the engine, and kind of take over and get the car back in line so that you don't skid off the road. Okay, it's a really nice feature to have. It also has a, a telescopic wheel, locks in, uh, 7,500 RPM tac, uh, 180 mile an hour speedometer, and uh, just a great, great car. Got climate control right here, supple, beautiful leather right here, which just looks great in this car. And uh, it just has every kind of modern luxury accoutrement you could have, not to mention uh, it's world-class handling. Great stereo and all that good stuff too. So anyway, it's just one of those cars I love so much. So, but let me fire it up for you because they make an awesome, awesome sound. I forgot to throw in six-speed transmission. Six speeds on the highway. This gets great gas mileage too. A nice feature to have. What I love so much about the car as well is the simple fact that, let's say you come out of work, you want to throw the top down, here's what you have to do. Hold one button down. It unlatches itself right here. The tonneau cover lifts itself up, folds itself back down there. Then the tonneau cover will go ahead and slide itself in. And when the light goes out on the dash, you're done. That's it. Look how fast that is. As we close up this video, listen, this is not just another 911 Cabriolet. This is a low mileage, great colors, lots of equipment, uh, serviced car that you can enjoy for a really, really long time. And you can take another couple out or a family or the kids or whatever. The wives can drive them too. The husbands can drive them. It's this great, awesome family car that everybody can drive and they don't feel like you're in a bright red Ferrari in a fishbowl. So that's what makes them kind of cool. Call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it.